Excerpt from Telescopes, Eyes on Space, Part 2, by David Dreyer and Brian Roberts. Powerful Telescopes. Are there planets outside our solar system? What are stars made of? Is there a black hole at the center of the Milky Way galaxy? How big is the universe? Astronomers rely on a very important type of tool to help answer these questions, the telescope. There are many different types of telescopes. Some use mirrors to collect light, while others use glass lenses. Some collect visible light, while others detect light that we can't see. Some make observations from Earth, while others are out in space. Reflecting telescopes. Early refracting telescopes, like those used by Galileo, had some problems. It was hard to grind the glass lenses perfectly, so the images were often fuzzy and the colors were not quite right. In 1668, Isaac Newton invented the reflecting telescope. These telescopes use mirrors instead of lenses to gather light. In a refracting telescope, light from the object travels to the telescope and reflects or bounces off a curved mirror. The curved mirror focuses light to a small point where there is another smaller mirror. The light then bounces off that mirror and travels to the eye. Most large modern telescopes are reflecting telescopes. Increasing the size of telescope's mirror usually leads to a more powerful telescope. Bigger reflectors gather more light. They allow us to see objects that are much smaller, fainter, or farther away than the smaller telescopes do. However, it is very hard to make large mirrors that are perfectly shaped. Also, their weight causes them to bend. Then the light does not bounce off the surface in the right direction. The images become distorted. To avoid this problem, engineers often make mirrors that are actually many smaller mirrors put together. The large mirror of the South African Large Telescope is made of 91 mirrors, each of which is 1.2 meters, 4 feet across. Together, they make a mirror that is 11 mirror, meters, 36 feet, by 9.8 meters, 32 feet. It can help us see objects that are 1 billion times fainter than what you can see when you look at the sky. Another way to avoid extra light, large mirrors that can bend is to build several identical telescopes close to each other and combine the light from them. This is called a telescope array. The very large telescope in Chile is an array of four telescopes. Each telescope has a mirror that is 8.2 meters, 28 feet across. In addition, it has four movable telescopes. Each of these has a mirror that is 1.8 meters, 6 feet across. When the telescopes work together, astronomers can see details 25 times finer than when using just one of the telescopes. Astronomers answer many questions about the universe using large telescopes and telescope arrays on the ground, but even the best ground-based telescopes have challenges. As light travels from space to Earth's surface, the gases in Earth's atmosphere reflect and absorb it. As a result, not all the light from the space reaches telescopes on the ground. For example, almost all gamma rays are absorbed by Earth's atmosphere. There is no way to study gamma rays in space by using telescopes on Earth's surface. To solve this problem, engineers have designed space telescopes. These telescopes are launched into orbit around Earth or the Sun. From there, they can make observations far above our atmosphere. They use radio signals to send data to scientists on Earth. Like ground-based telescopes, space telescopes are designed to make different kinds of observations. The Hubble Space Telescope, for example, was able to gather light from the galaxies more than 13.2 billion light years away. These galaxies formed shortly after the universe itself formed. Number six. What is the primary way that telescopes are able to see objects that far away? A. Powerful electronics B. Mirrors C. Arrays D. Satellites 7. Read the sentence. Some collect visible light, while others detect light that we can't see. What does the word detect most likely mean? Bend A. B. Block C. Magnify D. Sense. 8. 
Select the statement that best describes what the first paragraph shows about the author's point of view. A. The author believes telescopes are powerful. B. The author believes telescopes are, are invaluable tools for examining our universe. C. The author believes telescopes are com complicated inventions. D. The author believes everyone should use telescopes to answer questions about our universe. Number nine, read the sentences. Circle the underlined word or phrase that best helps the reader understand the meaning of the word launched. For example, almost all gamma rays are observed by, absorbed by the Earth's atmosphere. There is no way to study gamma rays in space by using telescopes on Earth's surface. To solve this problem, engineers have designed space telescopes. These telescopes are launched into orbit around the Earth or the Sun. From there, they can make observations far above our atmosphere. They use radio signals to send data to scientists on Earth. Like ground-based telescopes, space telescopes are designed to make different kinds of observations. 10. Read the sentence. Increasing the size of a telescope's mirror usually leads to a more powerful telescope. What does the use of the word powerful tell the reader? A. Large mirrors make larger telescopes. B. The larger the mirror, the stronger the telescope. C. The larger the mirror, the greater the distance of the telescope can see. D. The lar larger mirrors help telescopes see bigger objects.